The Communist Party of China, or CPC, has just celebrated its 100th founding anniversary. As we've said in previous episodes, one of the secrets to the CPC's success has been its upholding of the people-centered approach, which entails the party always putting first the people's interests. In this edition, we'll explore another important feature of China's political life, which has come to be known as the whole-process democracy. I'm Zhong Pingping. Welcome to Xinhua Commentary. People in the West don't see China as a democracy, but that's simply not true. The kind of democracy we have here is best summed up as the whole process democracy, which, unlike Western models, reflects the unique conditions and characteristics of China as a socialist country. The whole process democracy runs through all processes, including election, decision making, administration, and supervision. One of its key features lies in the process of consensus building, which is reached by extensive consideration of public opinions and intensive deliberation of experts' recommendations. For example, when drafting the 14th Five-Year Plan and development goals for the next 15-year period, Chinese authorities attached great importance to the views of the people from all walks of life and collected more than one million comments and recommendations through the online channel. China's whole process democracy is geared towards safeguarding the legitimate rights and interests of all Chinese citizens. The democracy we have here in China tries to integrate democratic values into the whole process of public life, including the electoral decision making, management, supervision, and consultation processes. The design of any democratic system must be carried out in line with a country's real conditions. By refusing to blindly copy Western models, China has found a new form of democracy that best suits the needs of the country and the people. 